Hi, this is Rich from Rivera Urban Homestead. Um, the reason I'm going to start documenting this is just I'm starting to make my garden area around my house. I got chickens in the backyard and it's phase one entry level stuff. But I want to start making videos to document all the different projects I do and how it grows within the years. My ultimate goal is eventually to get some land hopefully after my son is out of high school or something. Let me show you my garden area as it is now. I'm getting ready to plant here. Um, I'm in South Florida, so it's about to be September. It's the August 30th right now. So September I'll start planting for the cool season garden. Um, so let's go out there and check it out real quick. So... Here's my house. I got big trees in the backyard, so I plant my garden out front. We have reclaimed water here. And so what I did is I moved my reclaimed pipe up. Got the nozzle all set up with my reclaimed water. This is a Boogie Brew water filter. I put my line under the ground. And here are my first two raised beds I built. Made drip systems in there. Just all made the grids. Connected them in, down under here, underground. A couple of sunflowers that I had some seeds for. Back here I had some pallets at work, so I took them that we didn't need and I have some strawberry plants planted and this is my blackberry bush which has been growing huge I have had to really just intertwine it through my trellis up here I took my privacy fence panels down and put up this wire to use this trellis and with the panels I built this raised bed which has a trellis also that I'll be planting I got these whiskey barrels at Lowe's. Normally they're $40, but they were $5 as is, so I took them and kind of fixed them up. And then here's some of my tomato plants. I have uh, built more. Indigo rose. Juliet, Roma, Early Girl, 50 Days, and Mr. Stripey. So I planted those. I don't know if you can see the nozzles under here. I might have to show them to you later. But the drip nozzles are directly right there. We'll show you when I water. So, I'm planning on tomatoes and peppers in this bed. Maybe something down below too, I'm not quite sure. In this bed I'm gonna be doing all greens and stuff. They're eight by, no I'm sorry, um, eight foot by four foot. Eventually I'll get this all filled in and maybe plant some peppers or I'm sorry maybe some beans and stuff and I'll eventually put a raised bed over there on this side of the wall and use that space to utilize it I have I have a lot of thoughts so <laughs> and then back here is where I have been producing my own compost Which, you can see, <sighs> looking like some good soil. And I make the compost out of my, you know, my uh, lawn clippings, anything that I pull. 
and backyard. Back there I have my chickens are back in there. There's one right there looking at me. A couple of chickens in there. I'm having a mouse problem eating my eggs, so I gotta address that. And there's my little Daisy Dukes. Hi Daisy. One of my massive trees in the backyard. This is why I don't really have much planted in the backyard, but I'm gonna also work on that as well. So anyway, I made this gate, like I said, I took all the panels down because I want as much light as possible to flow through here. Sun cup comes up over there, so I get good sun till about three o'clock. So I'm right at that six, six hours of sunlight. But like I said, my blackberry bush is just growing huge. So I'm hoping next season, next summer, I should have some blackberries. And what I'm gonna do is these holes that are in the pallets, I fill up with dirt. And that's what I planted my strawberry plants in. They kind of died out a little, maybe because of the heat. But what I'm eventually going to do, obviously, is buy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more strawberry plants. Fill this all in with dirt. And um, have a strawberry patch with my blackberry bush. So all this would hopefully be fruit. Which eventually I might have to net off because of birds. I built that little table out of pallet wood. Like I said, I'll definitely probably make a raised bed over here eventually and have a trellis going up this area. I'm going to have both of these whiskey buckets set up where this blue bin is. So one at each end of the raised bed and I'll be planting stuff in those. I think this one I'm going to actually plant some potatoes in. Go to the farmer's market and get some organic potatoes and get them planted maybe in next week. Um, I just did this underground system about two weeks ago and I'm very happy. Now I just need to get a timer to put on the nozzle because I have a problem with remembering it's been 10 minutes, turn it off. <laughs> so last night I went out to eat with my wife and it was still on and then it rained so they definitely got watered good yesterday. But so far the tomato plants are looking good. Like I said, I'm going to go buy some pepper plants probably later today when my wife and baby get back from grocery shopping. And um, this is my little section so far I have going now. And of course the Chevy truck always comes in handy. Big old monsters. Twin trees. And I keep this flower bed going really well. There's a lot of different colors that pop up in here. And it just makes a huge difference. Because I get a lot of bees. A lot of bees throughout the day. And they will just come here and they will pollinate. and this is how I get all of my beneficial cross-pollination over to my garden which I'll be planting some marigolds over by also keep them in there for beneficial insects coming around and my garage area my workshop this is my trace elements that I put into my soil, elamite. It's just a bunch of rock minerals. Mix it in with the soil, it just gives you them trace minerals. Anything you can put in that soil to make it richer, the better. So I do that. I'm brewing a batch of compost tea, which is this stuff right here. Boogie Brew compost tea. It's all organic stuff. Um, worm castings, rock phosphate, um, just all different things in there that when you start brewing it like this, you just put it in a burlap sack or any kind of like sack like this, about a cup of it into five gallons of water 
and then you just let it aerate for uh, quite a while. Let it aerate 12, 24 hours and then you just water your soil with it and what it does is it just releases all the beneficial microorganisms and just makes your soil become alive and then your plants can better get the nutrients out of the soil when your soil is perfectly rich so that's what that's doing that'll be the first batch of compost tea I put in this soil that I have in those raised beds another workstation you know I like to do scroll saw work I just got that for Christmas last year I made a few different things with it that I've already given away to people or sold um, trying to work out every once in a while there so that's about it though well, let's go real quick out to the backyard well we're doing kind of an intro video just in my area you can see how much land I have as far as my lot and any uh, all this grass space I'm thinking of getting a couple of raised beds put back here because I do get some sunlight if I get some tree work done I can get some of that cut down and maybe get a little bit more light back here but um and chicken coop I started out with just the cage area and the house but then I put this wire fence around it to give them a little more room I used to let them just roam around but they really like my wooden patio back there and they like to poop all over it so my wife didn't like it much my fire pit for in the winter time will show you a fire and this is my homemade smoker just cinder blocks you do your fire right under there hi daisy excuse me and then it goes through them holes the smoke into the chamber and i've produced some pretty good ribs and stuff out of that hi daisy where's sam So here's my backyard. I've been just pulling out a massive amount of vines, leaves, all of this. You couldn't even see this fence a while ago. So I was doing that this morning. I do get some good sun right around here in the afternoon. Maybe I could do something with that. In the coop. So they got a pretty big area to roam around with. I probably need a couple more. I only have three. And that girl right there is old, Rose. She, uh... She doesn't really lay, I don't think, anymore, but... She's one of the originals, so we keep her. There's my other one, Sandy. She still lays. Just put new bedding down. Whitey's enjoying the bedding simple construction. Behind these pieces of plywood are pallets and all the upper beams going up I just nailed them or actually hammered them in to the pallets down there. Trimmed them off, did a cross piece and then just ran my roof. So Not too hard. There's Sam, my other goon. Hi Sam. There's my dogs, my chickens and coop. Used to be an awesome orange tree until it uh, caught the disease that's going around Florida. Come on, Daisy, get out of the coop. here all right so this is my house and then I can access the back part of the garden this way need to cut all that down that's just weeds there's some more than vines that I still haven't got quite finished on the chain link fence that was all over there that was fun
So, this is my area. Little by little, project by project. I want to be able to grow a lot, most of my vegetables. And eventually, back here, being so I don't really do much back here, I might want to set up a little uh, micro greenery, maybe area right over here. Grow micro greens. That would be awesome. My cool bumpkin that I've had for a couple of years now. Cool fish, all its lucky bamboo around it. So that's about it. This is my homestead that I showed you around. And like I said, little by little, I'll do projects, garden updates, different things that come to mind, and we'll go from there. So thanks. Hope you like it. If you do, hit like down there below.